So before I ask you what your favorite products are and like the morning and nighttime routine, I do have to ask you, what do you think the solution is here? How do we end animal testing or how do people help? I think education at like a baseline level is like number one priority, especially for the younger generation. Yeah. Um, younger kids right now, like even just like thinking about social media, like there's such a craze for like skincare and all of this stuff. So like use animals to help them learn. Mm -hmm. right. And once the younger generation knows it, like this is an issue that's going to like continue with them. And I just think it's gonna like keep the momentum going and create more legislation. Great. Um, you know, there's not a ton of legislation in the animal world, we all know that. So if, if we start it at a younger generation and we kind of rise that up, it's, it's gonna change the next 10, 20 years. I always like to say, you know, it's not a sacrifice, it's a joy. And it's mm -hmm. just simply taking the morals and values that most of us have to treat others with kindness and just putting it into action. Yeah. And so I appreciate like everything that you're doing to raise awareness about this because you've managed to reach the audience that needs to be reached. Yeah. And people empathize with Ted's story because they see the individual behind yeah. the cruelty. Right. It's different when yeah. you think of it. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy who it's resonating with because my audience is 97% female and most, most of my audience is under 18. Yeah. So it's hitting that demographic that I've always wanted it to hit. And yeah. I think that's like so important and says so much. So what are some of your favorite brands and products? What's the routine? Yeah. Okay. So right now I'm pregnant. So the routine has like oh. completely shifted. Yeah. We're having a baby girl. Oh. So we're halfway there. Um, so I've been like kind of working with my OB to make sure everything that I am using is pregnancy approved. And I didn't know anything about that until becoming pregnant. Interesting. What is uh, pregnancy approved? But, but I really approved? love Mad Hippie right now. So Mad you Hippie? Know, Mad Mad Hippie, they're vegan and cruelty free. They're Mad awesome. Hippie, I'm taking out my phone and I'm looking them up right yeah, now. No, they're awesome. They're they're one of my favorite products and I've been using a lot of them every single day. Oh. Um, well, pregnant. Before and they're becoming pregnant. pregnant I pregnancy approved. I yeah, my know. OB said for my pregnancy it was safe, so okay. I'm a roll with it. Yeah. I love them. Um, super sensitive and like a good budget. Like it's budget friendly. It's not super cheap, not super expensive. Is this okay, skincare so. or makeup? Oh, skincare. skincare. Okay. I'm looking at them. Cool. Yeah, look at them. They're awesome. Thank you. Um, before being pregnant, though, I used a lot of a lot. I would like to say I wouldn't even say I had, like, a routine. And I just think that's, like, yeah. part of the job is, like, I want to test on myself all of these brands. Like, right. these cruelty-free brands. Like, what's working for me? What can I share with my audience? Right. What's going to be better on youth skin? What's going to be mm -hmm. better on aging skin? Right. So it's not even like I've had a routine. It's just been trying a million different products and giving like my pure and honest opinion on it Right. to different age groups, different demographics, and just telling them what works and what hasn't worked. Amazing. So and what else besides yeah. um, Matt Hippie? And makeup stuff. Yeah, makeup stuff, skin stuff, whatever, hair stuff. Makeup um, I'm also a big Tarte fan, and yeah. for hair, I am an Amika fan. Yeah. And just so you know, I have. Um, I know you were asking about Amika, yeah. so I was like, I got you. So I think they only have like three products that aren't vegan, okay. and it's they're using. I wrote it down. Sheep's yes, wool girl. Utilized in the Triple RX shampoo. What so the... sheep's wool. Why and then in the shampoo? Is... Yo. And what? then some honey in the Amika hot mess gel. Mm. But other than that, Amika is. Cruelty free and vegan. Okay. Like, right, just right. That aren't. Like we were saying earlier, with all of these different terms like clean and right. sustainable and what they use all these terms to confuse people. And it's right. really what we should be looking for is that that PETA bunny. Right. That, it just makes it yeah. more simple. Yeah. But what about <laughs> makeup? What about makeup? What makeup brands do you like? Um, I'm a big Tarte fan. Um, avoid Maybelline. They say they're cruelty free. They're not cruelty free. They're mm, subject to mainland China animal testing with their fake logo. Sorry, mm. I had to. No, <laughs> to we love it. We love it. No, it's like we feel passionate about this because at the end of the day, there's victims behind right. these choices and we shouldn't be funding it. So I guess like w with your pregnancy, have you noticed that it's been like you're, you're obviously thinking through lotions and things like that are that are safe for the baby and mm -hmm. things. Can yeah. you talk about navigating the cruelty free world as a mom to be? Yeah, well, we're having a completely cruelty-free baby. Like, that was number one on the table. My registry is completely cruelty-free. 
Mm -hmm. um, I've already started shopping cruelty free. So we're using brands like Babo Botanicals. Okay. Well, my pa parents covered me in that Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, shit. Well, I mean, yeah thanks I'm, a lot. I'm still alive today, but I look back and I'm like, that couldn't have been very good. Like, I could have, I, I could be a little sharper. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just go there. Oh lord. Not just you. All of us. Come on now. We all. Maybe that's where the. ADD came from Maybe. and all that stuff. I got a lot Probably. of Johnson and Johnson. Not gonna lie, I'm blaming the Johnson Johnson. <laughs> um, so, so I guess, what are your future plans? Like, are you gonna create your own line one day? Ooh. <laughs> I, I mean, I would love to, but that requires a lot of money and a lot of time. And I have the time, but I'm, I'm in my 20s, so like, I'm mm. still in college. She's yet, in her so. baby mode right now. I'm She's in my focused baby on the mode. Baby. Yeah, we have a lot going on. Um, if I could create something, it would be a menstrual product line. I just Ooh. don't think there's enough menstrual products that are cruelty free out there. Right. They animal test in really disgusting ways. What? Like I, when I heard about that, I immediately changed my tampon brand because I had no idea who thinks about animal testing in, in tampons. Right. I tried it. I, I never even thought about cruelty free with, with, uh, feminine hygiene so products. So what should we use? Rail, R-A-E-L. Oh yeah. I know them. That one seventh generation so there's not a ton though like i could probably list it on two hands the brands that are cruelty free mm. wow so i would love to like develop a line of like you know menstrual hygiene that also, is sick sustainable too like you can get the the diva cups yeah that are uh yeah. what are they made most of most of those are cruelty free oh. so it's like okay sam so <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you're doing, for coming on, for educating us about yes. what's going on in, in the animal testing world and how we can be better to not support those cruel products. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. I love talking about this stuff. I could go on for literally hours. So <laughs> where can people find you? Where can they follow you and connect with you? Yeah, so um, my username is Sam McGraw with two W's and I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So add me <laughs> and ask questions in DMs. I'm always answering them. Did you want to sing her a song? That. Before we sing? And when you, you think Sam McGraw, McGraw, I hope you think, think my favorite, favorite song. Okay, okay that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. We'll, we'll see you around. Bye.